dense cities, these could be real game changers, cutting down on congestion while reducing emissions. Mm, totally. Then there's the intriguing world of autonomous vehicles like robo-taxis, autonomous ride-sharing fleets powered by advanced sensors and AI, though I have to say it does feel a bit unnerving to hail a car with no driver, you know? Yeah, I get that, but the safety improvements like real-time hazard detection might eventually win most people over. And that's really where the integration of V2X, vehicle to everything, comes into play. It's about creating a communication network where vehicles, traffic lights, even pedestrians' devices talk to each other. Take Portland's TriMet example. Buses signal traffic lights to turn green, reducing wait time significantly. Exactly. It's like vehicles and infrastructure become one intelligent system.